5 p.m. recap. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. Today is Saturday, February 27, 2021. BBC report. COVID-19. Belgium prisoners quarantined after virus outbreak. Quarantine measures have been introduced at Namur prison following the rapid spread of coronavirus among its 132 prisoners. Inmates will not be allowed walks or showers, but will have a hot meal and hygiene products delivered daily. One inmate is in hospital with the virus, according to officials, as well as half of prison inmates. About 60 of the facility's 115 staff members have also tested positive for the virus. Al Jazeera report. Archaeologists unearth intact ancient Roman chariot near Pompeii. Archaeologists in Italy have unearthed an ancient Roman ceremonial carriage from a villa just outside Pompeii, the city buried in a volcanic eruption in 79 AD. The almost perfectly preserved four-wheeled carriage made of iron, bronze and tin was found near the stables of an ancient villa at Civita Giuliana, some 700 meters 2,297 feet north of the walls of ancient Pompeii. Massimo Osana, the outgoing director of the Pompeii archaeological site, said the carriage was the first of its kind discovered in the area, which had so far yielded functional vehicles used for transport and work, but not for ceremonies. Deutsche Well report. Armenia's president refuses to back PM against military. Amid an escalating row between the government and the military in Armenia, President Armin Sarkeesian blocked the dismissal of the top military officer on Saturday. Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan claims the military is plotting a coup. He has pledged to fire Onik Gasparian, the chief of the armed forces general staff, after the military leaders demanded his resignation. However, Pashinyan's order was deemed to be unconstitutional by attorneys and experts who studied it, the office of President Sarkeesian said on Saturday. Al Jazeera report. Libya parliament to discuss new unity govet lineup on March 8. The Speaker of Libya's Eastern-based Parliament has announced that the Chamber will hold a special session on March 8 to discuss holding a vote of confidence on a new unity government. Aguila Sala, Speaker of the House of Representatives Hoar, in Tobruk, said in a statement late on Friday the meeting in the central city of Sirta will take place if a joint military commission is able to guarantee the safety of participants. Deutsche Well Report. Captain Tom. Funeral held for British fundraising hero. Britain paid tribute on Saturday to the World War II veteran who captured the hearts of a nation by raising millions for the country's health service at the outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic. Well wishes hailed the efforts of Captain Sir Tom Moore at his funeral, which included a flypass by the Royal Air Force. The 100-year-old died from coronavirus earlier this month. Moore raised more than 35 million euros euros for the UK's National Health Service NHS by walking laps of his garden during the first lockdown last year. CNN report. New Haven, Connecticut, police secure arrest warrant for suspect in Yale students killing. Police in New Haven, Connecticut, say they have secured an arrest warrant charging MIT graduate student Chinchwen Pan with murder in the fatal shooting of Yale University student Kevin Jong earlier this month. Pan remains at large, and the New Haven Police Department is expected to provide additional information related to the case on Monday, capped. Anthony Duff, a spokesman for the department, Confirmed to CNN. Fox report. Surge of 13,000 Central American miners to U.S. border expected in May. Customs and Border Protection officials are bracing for as many as 13,000 unaccompanied children crossing into the U.S. In May, according to a report, we're seeing the highest February numbers that we've ever seen in the history of the Unaccompanied Alien Child Program, a Health and Human Services official told Axios. The record surge of migrant kids will require a continued expansion of the country's network of migrant child shelters, where capacity has already been reduced due to coronavirus social distancing protocols, the report said. CNN report. 42 people including students abducted last week in Nigeria released. At least 42 people, including students, who were kidnapped last week in an armed raid at a state-run school in Kagara in Niger State, northwest Nigeria have been released, the vice principal of the school, Malam Saidu, told CNN Saturday, the released group included 27 students, teachers and family members, the state government said in a statement at the time of the kidnapping. The gunmen, wearing military fatigues according to witnesses, 
stormed the Government Science Secondary School Kagara on February 17. Fox Report. The 2021 hurricane season names and dates. What could be next for East Coast? After weeks of snow and damaging rainfall, already battered Atlantic states could be hit once again by an early hurricane season, according to reports. While the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's NOAA official hurricane season for the Atlantic region starts June 1 and runs through the end of November, the last six Atlantic hurricane seasons have kicked off early. Data from January indicates that the initial pattern will be much like last year, according to WTOK. Fox report. Virginia police officer shot, killed during traffic stop, suspect dead, reports. A veteran police officer in Virginia was shot and killed Friday afternoon during a traffic stop, according to reports. Officer Dominic Nick Winham, 48, of the Stanley Police Department was shot around quarter past 3 p.m. while still inside his vehicle, after pulling over a driver who got out of his vehicle and fired at the officer, the Virginia State Police confirmed, according to WHSVTV of Harrisonburg, VA. BBC Report. Jamal Khashoggi. How intelligence report could dent U.S.-Saudi ties for years. It could even have implications for the West's dealings with Saudi Arabia for decades to come. Asserting that the crown prince, known by his initials as MBS, was complicit in that gruesome murder in 2018, will make it harder than ever for Western leaders to be publicly associated with him as an individual. Yet, as things stand today, MBS looks set to be the power on the Saudi throne for a very long time. BBC Report. LeBron vs. Zlatan, who won the politics bout. Ibrahimovic said in a TV interview sports figures like James should not get involved as it doesn't look good. James fired back. First we'll never shut up about things that are wrong, pointing out Ibrahimovic's own past complaints about racism in Sweden. James said, I'm kinda the wrong guy to actually go at. I do my homework, the two are megastars in their respective sports. Ibrahimovic. In an interview with UEFA and Discovery Plus in Sweden, criticized the political activism of sports stars. Al Jazeera report. Lebanon begins cleaning beaches after oil spill. Lebanese began cleaning beaches on Saturday after an oil spill deposited tar over large stretches of the coast in the southern part of the country. A storm more than a week ago threw tons of the sticky, black substance onto beaches in neighboring Israel, apparently after leaking from an oil tanker off the Israeli coast. Within days the spill had spread to southern Lebanon, where clumps of tar contaminated beaches stretching from the border town of Nakura to the southern city of Tyre. CNN report. McDonald's, Taco Bell and Burger King heat up chicken sandwich wars. January was huge for the fried chicken sandwich wars, but February was somehow even bigger. This month, Wendy's, Taco Bell, Burger King and McDonald's all debuted new spins on the old favorite. Those sandwiches join KFC, Shake Shack and even Boston Market in an ever-growing list of fast-food chicken choices. Cheap, tasty and growing in sales, fried chicken sandwiches are becoming an attractive menu item for many fast-food restaurants. Deutsche Well Report. Boris Nemtsov, Russian opposition marks sixth anniversary of murder. Thousands of Russians marked the sixth anniversary of the assassination of opposition politician Boris Nemtsov in Moscow on Saturday. Supporters of Boris Nemtsov gather at the Bolshoi Moskvaretsky Bridge near Moscow's Red Square every year. Nemtsov was one of President Vladimir Putin's loudest critics until he was shot and killed on a Moscow bridge near the Kremlin on February 27, 2015. He briefly served as Deputy Prime Minister in the late 1990s before breaking ranks with the government. CNN report. Myanmar's UN ambassador defies military to plead for immediate global action to overturn coup. Myanmar's United Nations ambassador defied the country's army on Friday and issued an impassioned plea at the UN General Assembly for immediate international action to help overturn the military coup. Kya Mo Tun, remaining loyal to the civilian government ousted on February 1, delivered a dramatic speech while addressing the assembly on Friday. We need further strongest possible action from the international community to immediately end the military coup, to stop oppressing the innocent people, to return the state power to the people and to restore the democracy, he said. Thank you for watching 5 p.m. recap. To be notified, you can subscribe our channel and activate the bell.